Hey everybody, Luis Perez here with a quick iBooks author tutorial. This one's really quick. I'm just going to show you how to add a keynote presentation. And of course, you could also add a PowerPoint presentation by first converting it using keynote. So you have that option as well. So what I'm going to do is this is really simple to do in iBooks author. I'm going to go into my iBooks author document. I'm going to choose widget and then I'm going to choose keynote. This will add the widget to my page. I can position that widget as needed and use guides to make sure that it's aligned correctly. And then here on my desktop is my Keynote file that I've uh, saved from Keynote. And all I need to do is drag this file from my desktop or another location on my computer, drop it right on top of the widget, and after a few seconds I should see my Keynote file added to the uh, iBooks document. So here's a preview of my Keynote presentation once it's embedded in my iBooks document. Now a couple of things to note. Uh, only a few transitions and builds would work within your Keynote presentation when it's open on the iPad. If you use the build or transition that's not supported, it's just going to be replaced with a dissolve. The other thing is that if you have voiceover narration or if you've created timings for your Keynote presentation, those won't work uh, when the presentation is embedded in iBooks Author. So just a couple of things to keep in mind. Now once you've added the file into your Keynote widget or your presentation widget, you can go into the inspector, choose the widget inspector, you have some layout options as you do with other widgets, and then under interaction there's a few options here. If you choose full screen, your Keynote presentation is going to be shown as a thumbnail so there won't be any inter interactivity with that thumbnail. What happens is the user taps on it and then when it's in full screen mode they can uh, interact with the different slides in your presentation. So I'm going to uncheck that here. You can also show transport controls. So if you want to provide some navigation options you can do that. Uh, this is good if you don't have that kind of navigation built into your presentation. So those are some of the options you have for the uh, Keynote widget. Now one thing to remember is you won't be able to interact with the widget while you're editing your iBooks document in, on the Mac, you, but you can always uh, choose the preview option here and as long as you have your iPad connected to your computer and you have iBooks 2 open on the iPad, you can preview your eBook and then you can interact with the presentation. So this has been a quick tutorial showing you how you can add presentations into your iBooks documents. This is Luis Perez, I'll talk to you again soon.